What's up guys, it's Max here. In this video I'll show you how to make an Arduino based digital thermometer. This digital thermometer displays temperature in degrees Celsius and also tells you the humidity percentage of its surroundings. It's very portable and yes I found out that my thermometer displays some pretty accurate readings which makes it practical in everyday life. Anyway, by now you're probably itching to make yourself one of these. First, let's take a look at how to make this digital thermometer on a breadboard. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your 16 by 2 LCD screen and stick it into the breadboard. Now let's start connecting things. Connect the backlight cathode to ground. Connect the ground rail to where it says ground on the UNO. Connect pin 2 or the anode of the LCD to the positive rail. The first four LCD data pins hook up directly to the UNO's digital pins 9, 10, 11 and 12. The LCD's enable pin directly goes to digital pin 8 on the Arduino. LCD pin 5 goes to ground. Pin 4 or register select pin of the LCD directly goes to D7 on the UNO. Pin 3 of the LCD or the contrast pin goes to the right side of the breadboard where the potentiometer will be sitting. LCD 5 volts positive pin goes to the positive rail. The LCD negative pin or ground goes to the ground rail. Now stick your 10K potentiometer into the breadboard. The left pin connects with the positive rail and the right pin connects with the ground rail. Then take your DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, connect the female to male DuPont wires up to it. Connect the positive and ground pins into the breadboard. Then connect the data pin of the DHT11 to digital pin 2 on the Arduino Uno. And the last connection is the 5 volts positive pin on the UNO goes to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connect your Arduino UNO up to your computer. Open up the sketch that I've left a link to in the description below this video. Here's the code that makes this whole project work. Also make sure you download the two needed library zip files to which I've left Google Drive links to in the description below this video. Once you've done that, you can then import them into the sketch. This code that a YouTuber provided me with didn't seem to work that well. As you can see here, the screen keeps displaying negative 999 every other second. And it took me a few minutes to figure out what was wrong in the code, and all I had to do is set the delay to 2000 instead of 1000 milliseconds. I uploaded the code to the UNO, and then it started to work without flickering. So we've successfully made the digital thermometer prototype version. And yes, I've left a link in the description to the correct modified code. Please excuse the dimness of the LCD screen due to the weak 9 volt battery. Okay, so you've seen how to make the prototype digital thermometer. Now let's put it inside a box. Let's make it. So I found this good looking transparent plastic box, so I thought this would be the perfect container to use for my digital thermometer. Yeah. Using a felt pen on this box, I'm going to outline where the components will be peeking out from or basically where they're going to sit. I'm also going to mark where I want holes drilled for the bolts. Instead of making the circuit on a breadboard, I decided to make everything on this small PCB. I then soldered all of the 16 LCD screen pins onto the blank PCB. I want it so the circuit sits neatly right at the back of the LCD screen. I also added a positive and a ground rail. All the connections that go on this PCB are pretty much the same connections that we did on the breadboard.
These six wires here are for data and these two are for power. Then I connected all nine wires to my Arduino Uno. Before putting the whole circuit into the transparent box, I quickly made a 7.4 volt 2 cell lithium ion battery from these two 18650 cells. I also soldered on a female JST type connector to my UNO. Plugging the battery in, my digital thermometer circuit seems to work fine. The last thing I'd like to add to my circuit is an on off switch. But before soldering the actual switch on, I decided to wait until I have all the holes cut out on the plastic box, then it'll be easier that way. Using a drill machine and a really small drill bit is how I'm going to cut these little selected pieces of plastic out. There we go, now I have finished making the needed holes for my components to fit into. So far, this has been the hardest part of making this project. Now I'm going to fit all of the components and parts into the clear box and some of them will even be bolted. After connecting up the battery to the rest of the circuit, putting it inside the clear box, closing the lid, I turned it on and everything seemed to work just fine. Oh, and I nearly forgot to add on a 3-pin charging connector. This is a connector that allows you to charge 2-cell batteries. Now I'm finished making my own Arduino based digital thermometer. Here, watch how the humidity rises as I hold a damp cloth next to the sensor. There you go, you can see it rise from 60 all the way up to 80, 81. You can see the humidity rising. The humidity is already up to 95%. Now look at the temperature rising on the screen as I hold a flame near the sensor. Here's a little comparison between my bicycle speedometer computer thingy and the digital thermometer that I just made. You can see that the temperature readings are pretty much the exact same on both, so my digital thermometer is pretty accurate. This digital thermometer not only can be put on a flat surface, such as a desk or just a table, but you can also put it up on a wall if you drill some holes in the back and then added some little hooks on your wall, and then you could have a wall display.
Alright friends, that is all for my homemade Arduino based digital thermometer. I believe that I nailed the design of this box and um, the way I fitted everything in. It's quite convenient having a device like this in my everyday life. It'll be pretty useful, that's for sure. And I recommend that you guys at least try making the prototype version of this digital thermometer. Once again, I've left the code and the libraries for the code. It's all in the description below, so check that out and you can use it for your project. If you enjoyed this video, I'd much appreciate if you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked. If you want to make a financial donation to my work, then you can email me for more information on that. I've left my email in the description below. Follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!